Greetings. Welcome back. Great to have you. Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network and the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. I mean, let me try to break down something here. Last, maybe it was yesterday. I forget which. This is already Tuesday. This statement of Trump's that tens of thousands of Muslims cheered on 9-11. And he's challenged them. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. They were in New Jersey. I saw it. Media goes into fact check mode. Media can't find any stories, except there was one in the Washington Post. There was a Washington Post story in which it was reported that there were Muslims cheering 9-11, uh, the, the towers being hit on 9-11 in New Jersey on the date, 9-11. None of the fact checkers reported it. They overlooked it. They did not report that the Washington Post had actually reported what Trump is saying. The only difference is the Washington Post does not say tens of thousands, and Trump is. So the drive-bys leave that out, and they think they've got Trump. They think they've got Trump in a lie. They think they've got Trump exaggerating. Except Trump, Trump is, if anything, is only exaggerating, but he's not wrong. There were Muslims in New Jersey cheering 9-11. And the American people, and this is key, the American people know it. The American people saw videotape of Muslims around the world cheering on 9-11. The American people know full well that Obama's pastor from the pulpit said, America's chickens. See, the thing is, the great disconnect is that Trump is not wrong on fact. He may exaggerate and blow it out of proportion, but he's not wrong on fact. The drive-bys are trying to make it look like he's wrong on fact when he's not. And the American people know it before Trump says a word about it. Then when you find out that the Washington Post did report it and the drive-bys are ignoring that in their fact check, they double down on their support even more for Trump because they don't trust the media and the way they're trying to discredit him.